um, what we're seeing is fall Chinook salmon returning to tributaries of the Klamath River that are located upstream of Iron Gate Dam. These, these streams or tributaries of the Klamath River haven't had fish uh, spawning in them or even migrating into them for at least 60 years. Fish started showing up in, in these streams just, you know, a week or so after the final dam was completely removed. It was a bit surprising to everyone how fast fish started recolonizing these areas. You know, just nine months ago, these streams were underwater. They were they were under reservoirs. They were they're at the bottom of a reservoir. And just, you know, nine months later, there's fish already returning to these areas and spawning. Um, it gives me hope because uh, that means that um, they're using this, what little habitat is there and maybe this habitat isn't the best, but we have plans to restore this habitat and make it a lot better. Um, the fish right now that are in the river are, are helping us understand um, what's needed. They're showing us where the good habitat is. They're showing us where there isn't, where there's a lack of a good habitat. So we can use these fish to inform us as, as river managers, as scientists, where restoration needs to take place. And so that's really important. And then these fish are gonna spawn and they're gonna have offspring. So it's really important that we also keep a really, really good track of those offspring as they're leaving the river. So far, um, all, out of all the milestones that, that we've had, this one to me is the most significant. Um, it feels like catharsis, it feels like we're on the right path, it, it gives me hope for the future.